hey guys welcome back to my channel thanks for watching thanks for subscribing i am here today with a, another stamp time with friends roll of the die card making challenge right that's a mouthful <laughs> super fun um it is five of us stamping up demonstrators and every second sunday of the month we are challenged to make a card and the elements on the card are literally words that were rolled on a Stampin' Up! word dice, right? So <laughs> this week's challenge was a little bit challenging, not because of what the dice told me to do, um, but because um, it was self-inflicted. I'll, I'll get into that in just a second. But first, I want to show you the cards. And as you can see here, this is what we had to do. Clean and simple, sponging. We had to use the Regals color family, um, masculine hand punches. And this is what I came up with. Aren't they beautiful? My clean and simple heart swelled with joy. I love these cards. I did a little stamping on the inside. So um, I did learn that clean and simple um, definition in the scrapbook world is different than the clean and simple definition in the card making world. So when I first started doing this challenge, these are the cards I came up with. Um, these are clean and simple according to scra um, scrapbooking standards because I only used two things and they're super cute. But then when I was reading clean and simple for the card making world is a lot of negative space. It's like a lot of negative space and a focal point. So I made two cards. This one um, does not have a textured background and this one has a textured background, okay? Now, what I was talking about earlier, um, my self-inflicted complications. For those of you who know, I was just in Bahrain and I'm supposed to be moving to my house in North Carolina, but it's not ready yet. So um, I'm back at my parents' house. Well, I had this great idea to pack up all of my craft stuff that I was not going to need um, and put it in my pod, right? Guys, I did not think this through. I packed up all my stamp sets. I packed up my punches. I packed up my big shot so I can't even use my dies. Um, <laughs> packed up my paper, what, what papers I had left here, um, and the ones I brought back from Bahrain, I packed most of it up. And then I remembered hey you got to do this challenge so the only punches i had left were two circle punches here my two and three eight circle punch which is this one here and the one and three fours um and i have all my inks i have all of my ink colors which was great um, i have all of my blending tools and everything so that was great um and i had one stamp set which is great so the stamp set we're going to use is on page 42 of the mini catalog september through december this is the All About Autumn Sweet Collection. We're going to use this stamp set and the gems. From what I heard, this is going to continue on. So it's either going to be in the All On Exclusives or on the next catalog. Um, I can't remember which. Um, and the Regals family, you're just going to turn to page. 123 and this is your regals family collection so we had to use any of these colors here so i only had real red and old olive with me um left over from bahrain however um i only had the fall type stamp set um and i could have used the red and the olive but i went ahead and just ordered cajun craze and crushed curry to do this project because those are the two colors I just thought of immediately when you said Regals. Um, also, you know, your everyday items, you can um, get those out of the catalog. All right, so let's go ahead and make cards. You're gonna make two at a time, okay? This is not a embossing folder. We're gonna hand do that. It's gonna be super quick and easy. All right, so you're gonna take one piece of eight and a half by 11 piece of Cajun Craze you're going to score it on the short side at four and a quarter. 
and you're going to score it, or excuse me, cut it at five and a half on the long side. Two standard A2 card bases, okay? You're gonna take your Cajun Curries, or, oh my gosh, it's too many. It's crushed curry. Of course I'd have to pick the Cajun Curries and crushed curry, the CCCC, you know. You're gonna cut this at five and three eighths. by four and an eighth. This gives you your um, eighth of an inch border. If you want a bigger border, by all means, cut it bigger. But I only wanted a tiny little bit peeping out because I wanted the crushed curry to be the focal point because this is one of my favorite colors, especially around fall, transitioning into Christmas. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, my house is fall year round, so. All right, so we're also gonna take a piece of basic white, and you're gonna cut that on the long side at five and a quarter, and on the short side at four. So, four by five and a quarter. Those are my two inside panels. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am a little under the weather. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make this piece here, okay? Let's put everything to the side except for our crushed curry, the yellow. We're going to pull out our scoreboard, okay? Um, and... I'm actually allergic to the stylus it comes with, and so I have to use my own. But we're going to go ahead and score this at every quarter of an inch, okay? It's going to go fast. So, okay, I have too much stuff on my desk and not enough space. Quarter, half, three quarters, one. I know my hand was in the way, but we have plenty of numbers. So quarter, half, three quarters, whole number. Quarter, half, three quarters. Oops, I got a little crazy here. And whole number. Quarter, half, three quarters, whole number. Am I going to change that line? Nope. My oopsie daisy? Nope, because nobody knows what it's supposed to look like except for me. All right. I like the texture better than the plain, so let's do it again. Quarter, half, three quarters, whole number. Quarter, half, three quarters, whole number. So see how fast this goes if you really want this texture and you don't have embossing folders or you pack your big shot in your pod and you keep all your embossing folders. Super fast. Cool. Okay. We're going to put those to the side with our bases. And now we're going to go ahead and um, punch our circles. Okay. I'm honestly just going to use my, what you call my scratch paper here because this is basic white. Two punches. Um, this is the two and three eighths inch circle punch. It is on the clearance rack right now. Um, and also I have the one and three quarters inch that is on the clearance rack. So any punch, any, you know, you could do this, you can do the label punch, any of the punches that you can stamp inside will be just fine. Let's pull out our crushed curry ink hat and our stamp set. We are going to go ahead and stamp our leaves. I'm going to use this one here. You can make a lot of these quickly. I'm using my D block. I will also be using my H block later. Okay, so let's go ahead, ink this up. Um, these stamps that have like the, I think they're called two-toned two or two-something. Two um, stamp sets. I always like to practice stamp because these are newer to me and so 
sometimes I don't get a very clean stamped image. So I like to practice stamp and then I'm good to go. So there's one perfectly stamped. And then here's two. And as you can see, I just put them anywhere on there. Um, I do want to go ahead and stamp a little leaf on my inside panels. So here are my inside panels. Obviously this is your discretion if you want to stamp something on the inside. I always do. Okay. We are done with crushed curry. You can clean your stamp and put the stamp pad away. Actually before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the um, envelope too. I just like matching envelopes. I ran out of envelopes and Stampin' Up! ran out of white envelopes and so I have very vanilla. Um, but it doesn't, I mean the envelope to me doesn't really matter. Alright. Oh gosh, I just almost dropped that on myself. Alright, so I'm just going to stamp just like a little, just the little leaves on the corner of my envelopes. And you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do two more because the ones I've already made while I have my ink out. So these are super easy to make a ton of. You can do each step on a different day or, you know. Okay, <clears throat> now we can clean our stamp and put this away. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out our vines or veins maybe, your veins. Um, your veins are gonna come in one piece. Mine are in two pieces because I cut them. I needed a specific size of vein for a specific thing I was making, and so I cut them, which is fine. All you have to do is put it back on your block the way it's supposed to go, and it's like new. All right, let's pull out our Cajun craze, and here we go. Here's our circle. We're going to line this up as best as we can. And we're going to stamp in. Perfect. I'm going to do the exact same to the next one. Line it up as best as you can. There you go. Okay. I'm going to continue on for my inside panels. And that one I got a little too much pressure. That's okay. I um, made it real thick and I got a little smudge right there, but I don't care. You can write over that. Um, I am going to clean this extra off my block just to be on the safe side. Normally I don't particularly care if I have stuff on my block, but Today, I am pressing harder than what I need to, so I don't want that to get on there. Alright, so now we have our circles, our inside panel, and our envelopes all completed with our little stamp. And we still are going to need that ink, but we can go ahead and clean this and put this away. And we're going to pull out our Cajun Craze um, sponge dauber okay. and this is the dauber that I use because I'm allergic to the other ones so gotta use what I gotta use and what we're gonna do is ink up our sponge and we're gonna do a dark sponging around our circle so I'm kinda pressing a little hard because I want it to be super dark around my edge of my circles like so. That dark line, I love it. Now what I'm going to do is, I know this is still all inked up, I'm going to stamp it a couple times on my scratch paper and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to pull from the middle out in kind of a round motion just because I want just a little kiss of the sponge on my circle. Just a flick of the wrist. You don't want too much
like so. That's all I need. So I'm going to just leave that there for now. We're going to come in with our stamp, which I am using the with a grateful heart, because that is year round. That's just a nice thank you. And then I'm just going to kind of decide how I want my leaves in my stamp set to look. I'm not going to think too much into it and just stamp straight down and straight up. Beautiful. Again, straight down and straight up. That's it. Okay, so we're done with our inks. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and pull in everything. Here are our bases. And if you do these cards assembly style, you can make a ton of them quickly. I don't know if I already said that or not. Okay, let's go ahead and fold our bases. Now, to get your um, crushed curry pieces on, I would suggest using wet glue because it will hold it better. So whatever wet glue um, you use, So you can also decide if you want your bumpy side, which is a little bit more, you can see it uh, more, or your indented side on the top. I honestly just picked it up and whatever side I put glue on, that's the side that's going to be down. Okay, so just line that up. I think on this one I did the dented side showing up. And the bumpy side is on top here. So it doesn't matter. Alright. You would do that same thing if you had embossing fold the 3D embossing folders. You choose which side you want facing out. Alright. So I added my wet glue. And I'm going to glue my base down. Then we're going to grab our dimensionals. We're going to stick them on the back of our circles. Okay. Um, you can use as many or as few dimensionals as your heart desires. And you don't even have to put dimensionals. If you want it to be completely flat, it can be completely flat. It still looks great. This one here is completely flat. Beautiful card still. And we're just gonna stick it. See how I did not think that through and I just, boom, that's it. Okay, now we need to go ahead and put in our inside layers. Basic white, I like to use tape runner because um, sometimes you can see the glue lines, the wet glue lines through basic white. And I don't know, I just don't like that. Okay. And here we go. If you have a little smudge like that and it bothers you, you can play it off by putting a sentiment over it. But um, I'm okay with a little smudge. These are actually going to, they're my thank you cards for, um, some people did some nice things for me, so. These are going to them. And I know they're going to love it. Okay, so there you go. Now we need some gems. Okay, so you can pick out what you want. I'm going to use these. Um, the green may also look nice on there. I'm going to use your take your pick tool. And I did one big and two little on each card. And yes, men do like gems or masculine. I don't think gems are a gender thing. 
and you're just going to stick three wherever you want. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I love, love, love these cards. Quick and easy. Um, I made 10 in about 15 minutes. Um, obviously, when you're trying to do a tutorial, it's a little bit slower. But you can do any color combination you want. And then you have your matching envelopes. All right, guys. Definitely jump to the next person. I will have all their links in the description box. And thanks for watching. Bye.